Uncle Tony Diamond? And Chris. And you were watching the scene? Yes, you are. On YouTube? Yes, you are. .com? Uh-huh. Check it out. Damn right. Want a trucker? Fucker. <laughs> <laughs>
you know, all about me. You know, I, I just love that, you know. So, <laughs> and uh, I think Thursday they got uh, GT cars, like Astons and Porsches and stuff like that. And then they got a Mustang Series the opposite week. And then on Sundays they got a Le Mans Series style racing and a Porsche Cup. So there's like racing every week, but all the series are staggered bi-weekly. So. Shit, I have trouble just getting out youtube.com <laughs> <laughs> well i race in a lot of series and a lot of cub but i consider gone broke is kind of my home for sim racing you know because i was one of the original members there you yeah. know i guess i was probably like the third member there or something you know i've never been to gone broke racing.com but i'm gonna go i'm gonna go tonight <laughs> i'm gonna check it out <laughs> then you're gonna buy your steering wheel some pedals and never race it <laughs> well, damn <laughs> Do they have a wreck everybody series? They they have specialty formats that they what would do. it be demolition series? Yes, maybe? they have special <laughs> they have special formats. Like we call them exhibition races. Uh, Danny he puts on these exhibition things, and we actually did a figure eight one and a demolition bowl. Like I don't know, like a few weeks ago, <laughs> and believe it or not, I won one. You know? yeah. <laughs> Leave shows, it to me to be able to break stuff well. Shows how his racing is. <laughs> <laughs> if I can break it, I can win at it, I guess. <laughs> no, but they're a good, they're a good group of guys. Uh, they like to hang out and have fun and they, and race cars, you know. It's not so much as competitive as it is the fun factor, you know. Like in a commercial, I, put, I think we put at the end the fun factor. You know, yeah. GBR puts the fun factor back in our factor kind of thing or something. <laughs> I don't know. But now they're a good group of guys. So if you're looking for somebody to, to race with and have fun, and you have to be an adult. That's the only, that's the only yeah, thing. You, you know, have to be like 20, 20 or 25, something like that. There'll be no 12-year-old yeah. kid trying to act big. And yeah, shit. yeah. <laughs> you won't get to the door. So <laughs> <laughs> There is an age requirement, but I think that's about it. The age requirement's about it. Oh, okay. You know? And they host things on the new formats like iRacing. Uh, Craig does some like GT style stuff where he hosts on iRacing and uh, 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 and iRacing is is a, is the big simulator the where big Dale simulator. Earnhardt and all them you know. See, I'm teaching race. you. Well, he's teaching you something, people. I ain't teaching you <laughs> shit, but I'm learning. I think I think uh, Dale Earnhardt races over there. Marcus Ambrose races over there from uh, NASCAR. Uh, we actually raced with. Uh, I actually had an opportunity to race with uh, Shane Van Gisberg over there. And a couple other guys from the V8 Supercars. <laughs> okay, I got to stop you. <laughs> <laughs> I got to stop you. Okay. Did you say Gisberg? Gisberg. <laughs> Gisberg. Yes. He's a Kiwi. <laughs> Could have swore you said G- Gisberg. <laughs> <laughs> Shane Van Gisberg. That is what I said, I Shane hope. Shane Van Gisberg. 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 <laughs> it could be Gisberg, I guess, depending on what kind of sort of country you're uh, that's, from. That's kind of... Uh, Kind of nasty. <laughs> <laughs> I think we raced with Fabian Corther and a couple other V8 super guys. Kind of super car guys. Kind of super guys. What are y'all doing over there? <laughs> <laughs> but, I, you know, I don't race I racing anymore, but I race the R Factor formats. You know? Oh, okay. So, and it just got, I don't know. I, you know. So, I racing is one of those things you either love it or you hate it kind of thing, you know? Because they're very serious. You know? Yeah, they're very serious. You know, it's like these are the pros. You know, so I wouldn't survive over there. Probably I mean, not. Kicked out in the first lap. Yeah, because <laughs> they have they have a safety rating in i racing, which is you know probably another subject for another time. But <laughs> you know, if you wreck somebody or you wreck get wrecked, you lose points. So and you lose your oh, license. Wow. So if you lose so many points, you lose your license. So, but oh, yeah. uh, I think at Gone Broke they run. Uh, it's it's more of a private race format, so they keep the public out of it. And it's just gone, ro- gone broke racing guys, racing and having fun, you know. Oh, okay. So it's it's the crew within the crew that runs it, you know. It. You know, and then they have a. I think Dale runs a R Factor Two exhibition all the time. So that's the new format for R Factor, which is the next level up that we're all striving to get to, well, hell you know. Yeah. So, but there's plenty of stuff to do over at Gone Broke, Gone Broke Racing. I can't even say this out loud. I can't even say this fast enough. Gone Broke Racing. Gone Broke Racing. You know. So there, yeah. There's any any format you can think of, they they do it, and they do it for the fun of it. So if you're looking for somebody to jam with, race yeah, I'm gonna with, go check that out. I'm gonna have check fun it out with. Sure. Go to Gone Gone Broke Racing dot com. And if you don't, we're gonna come through the computer and whoop your ass. Whoop that ass. We See, will. Here's the problem: is I always say GBR. 
Gone Broke Racing, GBR. Oh, yeah. You know? So we just break it down. You know, like uh, Sim Limited Racing is SLR. You know, they, you know? they could have made it easy and put GBR.com. They could have. They could have. You know. Gone Broke Racing.com sounds better. Yeah. So. <laughs> and, and, and that and they have a name and not an initial. initial. But for, yeah. for people that are a little slower, slower like me, GBR.com, that would, yeah. that would work. But that could mean a lot of different things too. And they got, and they got. You see, we got GBR dot com, and then they got a Facebook or not? They yeah, might have a Facebook. I'm not sure. They have a YouTube thing, a YouTube channel, Gone Broke Racing. <laughs> YouTube channel. <laughs> we Gone took a break and I come back and my my speech doesn't work now. <laughs> so the second cup of coffee, there's something so they wrong have with a it. Gone Broke Racing YouTube channel. Yes. All right. From GoneBrokeRacing.com Com. at GBR. I don't know why I'm doing that. But. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> but, hey, it's fun. It's fun. You know, there are a bunch of guys like us. They like to have fun, talk shit, and race. I'm glad we're guys. Yeah. Huh? So. I would have worried. <laughs> 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 I don't know. Oh, shit. Well, thank you, guys. Thank you for the sponsorship. Yes. Yep. Thanks for hosting this week's sh- the same. Yeah. I'm glad I got that right because I almost said something else. <laughs> <laughs> you almost said the music. Scene, I did. You? Damn. <laughs> it's not the music scene no more. <laughs> <laughs> this week's The Scene is brought to you by GoneBrokeRacing.com. Yeah, wow, I said it all in one sentence you without taking a breath. One sentence. Gosh. You get a cookie. <laughs> I get a cookie. I get a Labmo bag. <laughs> well, no, no, we're mentioning cookies and shit. It just made me think about this girl with the chip today. The chip? What? Huh? Little girl, 12-year-old girl, walks up to me with a potato chip. Mm. Look, what does it look like? Fucking chip. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a heart. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't see it, but whatever the fuck. Is, <laughs> whatever you say. It's round. <laughs> Stupid kid apparently didn't go to school. (laughs) And I see the girl put it in a baggie. She puts this chip in a baggie. What's the point of that? She's going to take it home. And she said, I'm going to let it harden up. (laughs) It's a potato chip. Wait till you're 18 and plenty of things (laughs) will harden up around you, you little whore. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, We're going shit. somewhere here. Oh, <laughs> kind of crazy. No, she, it, it was it was funny cuz she walks up with the chip and she puts it in a baggie cuz it looks like a heart. It's yeah. round, but it looks like a heart. <laughs> and she's going to just keep it at her house until this thing hardens up where it don't break. So here's my stupid ass question of the day. Stupid ass question of the day. Da-da-da. Five years from now, would a potato chip break? You, I would think so. <laughs> you know, I mean, <laughs> you know, most people can't. You know, can't. I, you I know, told you, they can't not break. Stupid, they stupid can't break stupid. nothing with, you know, within five years. So, what are you going to do with a potato well, chip? I mean, what are you going to do? Put it in a vault I by had, itself? I had a, a potato at one time. Me and my grandpa. Yeah. That looked like a dude's head with a big nose. Yeah. So we we drew on it, the eyes, and you know, we put all this stuff on it. Yeah. And we let the thing harden, and we had it for 10 years. Really? And, I mean, it was a rock. Yeah. Yeah. And potato chips, kind of a potato, so. Oh, it's a potato slice, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and especially in a baggie, is it just going to wither away, or? Yeah, well, it weather away. Got me curious. Got me huh. curious. So I'm gonna I know I couldn't keep a potato chip around this house. No, Not you, for five years. Shit, you go through some potato chips. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I look over and go, man, there's a potato chip all by its lonesome. Got to eat that. <laughs> we used to. We used to eat potato chips till we were getting healthy. <laughs> now it's all fucking fruit. <laughs> so I guess you could say I'm fruity. <laughs> but not in the booty. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh shit! I don't know what to do with that. Uh, I don't know. Just uh, don't touch that one. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. I just won't touch that. <laughs> shit! You can, you know, you can tell the first thirty minutes were kicked back. We're kicked back on your fucking couch. Yeah, we we realized that that was not cool. And we're just like, uh, yeah. yeah. Welcome uh, to the uh, scene. Uh, uh, we're here. It's brought to you by Gone Broke. I, I, 
Uh, I'm just here. He's yeah. fruity in a booty. <laughs> and now, now we're it, setting up. Yeah, we're now like, we're hey. up. Yeah, we had to, we had to, had to wake up a little or something. So this is why we dropped the blog talk thing for now because 30 minutes has went by. Yeah, and it, it was shitty. Yeah, we're gonna <laughs> be like blah blah, shitty, blah, 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 yeah, blah. Yeah, but now we're setting up. Yeah, we're trying to get fired up here. Setting up. I got my wiener hanging out the bottom of my pants leg. Holy shit. shit. I'm not sitting on that side. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't see me scratching my foot earlier? It I wasn't agree, my yeah, foot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. People over at GoneBrokeRacing.com are saying, what the fuck are we doing helping <laughs> these dudes out? <laughs> Let's never sponsor them ever again. <laughs> <laughs> Just a six. Uh, okay, here's one. here's the thing. All right, sponsors over the years. You know, can you remember any of our sponsors? Generations. Yeah, generations. Uh, sponsors. Pocahontas, Arkansas. Yeah, uh, we were sponsored by Budweiser for our uh, band. Budweiser. Yeah, you got the poster right there. Yeah, I got the posters yeah. and the banners hanging on the ceiling. Uh, wrestling. We were sponsored by Jägermeister. Jägermeister. And BLS. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. Huh. So we've had some pretty good sponsors over the year. Pretty good sponsors. Uh, the BLS thing that that shocked me that they wanted to yeah you know, sponsor us for the wrestling shit. Yeah, Black Label Society. They like the Inhumane Society. Yes, thing, and so. that was totally cool. Damn. So and it's funny because you know when you tell people that they kind of look at you like, really, dude? Yeah. Black Label Society. <laughs> Zach Wild sponsored you guys. Well, yeah. The fucker liked us. So you liked us. You know. So, Zach Wild was cool. Yeah, Nick shit. Catanese was cool. He's the one who got a, the connection between the two. So, <laughs> you know, that's awesome, you know. Shit, huh? Meister, you know. Uh, I think they wanted to sponsor the band, but we were on sponsorship with Budweiser. <laughs> so, they want, they ended up sponsoring the Inhumane Society. Oh, damn. So, yeah, I, I forgot about that one. Shit. So, <laughs> you know, and that was actually good press for them because we threw out the hats and the keychains and yeah. and they gave us, you know, so. I won. And we played, uh, the funniest thing I always thought about it was is that we did the City of Roses Festival one year. Yeah. And there was Cape like. Cape Girardeau, Missouri. Yeah, and there was like, I don't know, what do you say, 10,000 people there? Yeah. There if not more. There, yeah. And we were on the Miller stage, sponsored by Budweiser. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and we, we had all our stuff sitting up there. But we didn't reveal any of it until we actually went on. They started hanging the Budweiser banners after we started playing. Like the first song we didn't, it didn't even say Diamond Odyssey or nothing in the front of the stage. They ran out and threw it on the stage after we started playing because they were worried that they would not let us play or something. Or something, I don't know. So, but that was kind of funny. You know, Damn. Budweiser band playing on the Miller stage. I was, want to be sponsored by Coca-Cola. Yeah. I, that, that's the one sponsor I want. Hell yeah. If Coca-Cola will sponsor me. Look, Coca-Cola, I don't drink your shit. Well, let me see. That might be made by Coca-Cola. Dasani Co- Water, Dasani Water, Coca-Cola Company. There you go. I'm drinking a lemon Dasani. <laughs> and this is supposed to be some healthier shit, so <laughs> fat boy trying to get healthy. I need a sponsor. <laughs> if, you could, if, we, if you could get sponsored by Coke, that'd be like big time. You know? Be a lifetime supply of lemon Dasani water. Yeah. Lemon Dasani, good for you. <laughs> See, I could do it. Fuck, help me out, man. <laughs> I'd be, I'd be a good sponsor for, for Coke. You know, you know, be like, have a Coke and a smile. And shut, sit up, and shut the fuck up, or shut the fuck up, and sit down. You know, something like, something like that. You know, they'd have to edit my commercials. But. See, mine's more subtle. Mine is <laughs> Dasani lemon water. Have a coke and a smile before I kick your ass. Water. That's what it would be. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> that's what it would be. Have a coke and a smile, or I'll kick Damn. your ass. <laughs> Beat that ass. See, see, Coke sponsors uh, the Olympics every year. Uh, what else do they sponsor? Hey, they sponsor everything. Damn, there, there goes pop that again. pop. Yeah, we'll have to go. Th- we'll have to look through the wiring in this place and find out what the hell that is. <laughs> so. But yeah, Coke sponsors everything. So if you get sponsored by Coke, hell. Yeah, you're in. If you're you're in. sponsored by Coke. Yeah. Shit. Hell, there's rappers. There's shitty rappers that are sponsored by Coke. Yeah. So if a shitty rapper could, fuck, we could. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Coke. Give us some money. I mean, sponsor us. We'll talk yeah. about the money after that. Yeah, if we don't drink Pepsi. Fuck a Pepsi. Yeah. What is, what is a Pepsi? Yeah, I don't know who they are. Unless they I spon- didn't even say the word right. I said poopsie or something. Poopsie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny because I drink both, 
you know, Coke and Pepsi. <laughs> but when I'm eating my dinner, I just want Coke. <laughs> There's nothing better than a Coca-Cola, ice cold Coca-Cola, yeah. and a slice of pizza or a T-bone steak. You know, when I was a kid, my grandpa would buy me a bottle of Coke. Yeah, damn, I'm going back into some years. <laughs> <laughs> it was the glass bottle. He would off. buy me the glass bottle yeah. of Coke and a thing of peanuts, mm-hmm. and I would put all the peanuts in the Coke. Yeah, and we would go fishing and just. That was our, our drink. Yeah. You know, we just sat there eating peanuts and drinking Coke. Yeah. And why the fuck didn't Coke ever buy that peanut company out? <laughs> I, I know Planters is a powerhouse. Oh, shit. Yeah, too. So. Damn, it was, you know. <laughs> shit, hey, Planters, you know, I eat your peanuts, you bitches. <laughs> <laughs> he says, but, eat your peanuts, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it probably didn't so, come out right. So, so you eat peanuts, is that it, huh? <laughs> You know, with this stupid diet, it says you can have, like, a small handful, like, four little peanuts. <laughs> you don't fucking eat four peanuts. Yeah. I'm going to eat a whole pack. Yeah. <laughs> well, is, is is unsalted peanuts healthy for you, or is it just peanuts in general that are bad? Uh, unsalted, they say, are better than the salted. Yeah. And the salted has more something in it. but Sodium? Yeah, I guess that's what it yeah, is. But comes from the salt. <laughs> I try, you know, I just try to stay away from the peanuts altogether now. I like I like cashews. Oh, do I like cashews? <laughs> if I can get a jar of cashews, I won't put them down until they're gone. Damn. It's like eating a cheesecake. You know, you can't walk away from the damn yeah, thing. Yeah, oh shit, I can't you walk know? away from that. <laughs> and it's bad too because walked through a store earlier today. Walked through a store and I looked over and there's like. You know, the cheesecake in the in the little round yeah. things. And they're all stacked up nice and neat. And you see strawberries <laughs> on one. And I'm looking at the cheesecake going, fuckers. <laughs> hate cheesecake now. <laughs> I seen Crusher almost get in a fight over a piece of cheesecake with a little blonde girl. Couldn't have been over five yeah, foot tall. I almost whooped her ass with a piece of cheesecake. <laughs> and she went toe down. to toe with you for that cheesecake, too. I don't remember who won, but it was just entertaining. I, I think I got the piece of cheesecake. Did you? Yeah. Because you held it over her head or something, I, probably. I told her, bitch, I'll smack you in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a pretty good battle, and it was entertaining as well. <laughs> See, if we'd have remembered to record all this stuff on video... We could be showing oh this on God, YouTube right have, now. Shit. <laughs> We've probably got 9,000 videos if we go back yeah. and look. Yeah. Stupid shit we did. Yeah. <laughs> I just wish somebody would have caught my fat ass falling down your stairs. <laughs> that was house. funny. Yes. Still with my tea in hand, but I didn't spill a <laughs> drop of tea. Went down ten walking. steps. They, we had these stairs because we finished in the attic of the old house. Turned it into a studio, and the stairs went, like, straight down. Straight down. And Crusher made it about two-thirds of the way down and missed a step. <laughs> and went down about, I don't know, a third of the steps. Oh, shit. And landed on your knees with a glass of tea in with your hand. glass of tea and didn't spill the damn tea. And he looked up and said, I didn't spill the tea, and I'm standing over him laughing my ass off. <laughs> that of- was my only worry was... Fuck, I just made this tea. <laughs> and I think on the way down, my body was saying, save the tea. <laughs> I think we just moved into that house, too. And I think we had brand new carpet and the whole nine yeah, yards in there. Yeah, you had brand new carpet. Yeah. That- <laughs> time. Like, Shit, not the tea. <laughs> not the carpet. And instead of Tony saying, no, he was going, ha, 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 I laugh ha. my ass off. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I have a habit of when people get hurt, I laugh. You know, it's like the sympathy G just if, isn't there. If it's not bad, like if I, if I don't see you fall and smack your face, you know, and you got blood everywhere, I'll laugh. <laughs> if I see somebody falling, it's bad enough. You got some blood. All right, I won't laugh this time. <laughs> Unless it was a funny fall, then I'll probably laugh at it. <laughs> I always laugh, and then I try and ask them if they're okay while I'm laughing. Because <laughs> we've had a number of people fall down those stairs. Yeah. And some of them look pretty bad, you know. So I think, uh, uh, let's see, my cousin's son, he was like two. He rolled down them stairs oh, while he was yeah. asleep. He was asleep, and I told him to shut the door because the door was actually on the oh, floor. Oh, he didn't. And... They left the door open, and he rolled out of the mattress or the bed that we had up there for them. And he rolled all the way down the stairs. It was like, and then we heard, 
<laughs> so he woke up at the bottom of the stairs and didn't have a scratch on him, had a bruise, nothing. You know, Damn. I think him sleeping was what saved his butt. You know, so and then we seen a a few people like come down the stairs backwards. You know, like yeah. their feet slipped out and they like slid down on their ass all the way down the ground. I've seen that a co- from a couple of people. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> we used to have to lug music equipment out of the same door. <laughs> yeah. So we got these big heavy speakers and big amps. Heavy and, speakers. They were what, like five foot tall? Yeah. <laughs> we were handing them down. So the first floor. You got uh, two people on top and two people on the bottom of the steps. Yeah. Passing them to each other. <laughs> the people on the bottom are always worried that somebody's going to drop it on them. You know, you know, thinking about it now, me and you were always on the top yeah. a lot, <laughs> passing that shit down. Oh, of course. Those suckers were <laughs> dragging that shit down the stairs, <laughs> through the house. Down your sidewalk, into, into the, the van, van. Yeah. <laughs> coming back, and here, here's one more piece. Uh, yeah. Here's another piece. <laughs> Me and you with one piece here, we help you. There you go. <laughs> we load it up. <laughs> and don't fucking drop it. Don't drop it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it was funny. Well, yeah, yeah. That's the way it was. And they called you the music Nazi. Yeah. They did. probably called me the lazy ass <laughs> bitch. It wouldn't help. <laughs> of course, I was the asshole that made a play one song for three hours straight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it was entertaining. It was fun for shit. me. I was the singer. I was trying to save my voice. Yeah. You know? well, I couldn't yeah. lift shit, heavy shit. <laughs> Strain your voice, you know. Mess that up. You ain't got no singing shit for that night. <laughs> well, I remember we we had we had this six foot bag that we called a body bag. Yeah, and we put all the drum cage parts in it, and that thing probably weighed as much as a person too. Oh yeah, it was it weighed as it was as long as a person. It weighed as much as a person, so we called it a body shit. bag. And having to lug that thing down them stairs yeah, and that, back up. That was. Because they had a lot of sharp things in it. <laughs> if you'd have dropped that on somebody, they would have more than certainly went through them. You well, know? Me and the drummer had a system for that. Like, All right, I'll grab one end, you grab the other. Yeah. And we'd be fine that way. Yeah. But just trying to pass it, you want know, yeah. to roll it yeah. to the steps and say, here, catch. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't work. No. It was very deadly. <laughs> very dangerous. So. Damn, I can't <laughs> believe that dude put that whole cage, that whole drum cage in, in that one bag. bag. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> the rest of the drum set took up the rest of the van, but that bag, you get everything yeah, in there. So you had to have that bag in first. Yeah. Put the bag in first. And then we'll set the drums in on top of it. Because that <laughs> thing probably weighed about 200 pounds. Yeah. It was, and it was a bag. It was a tote bag. It was six foot long. <laughs> so. <laughs> That's crazy. Crazy, crazy stuff. Shit, man, I smell food in there. I do, too. Man, the Should show's we... going to end soon. I mean, we got like four or five minutes. Oh, the yeah. The show's huh? going to end because my fat ass is going to go Time's eat Time's for my... a fly today, huh? Yeah, yeah, it really has. I don't know if we really talked about anything, if we talked Not about anything. Not really. Fuck, we ain't talked about. There's one thing I want to bring up. What's that? Something I found out today. Jackie Fargo. The Memphis wrestling legend. I mean, when yeah. I was a kid, Jackie Fargo versus Jerry Lawler and Bill Dundee. And, yeah. You know, Jackie Fargo was the man in the 70s and 80s. Yeah. And he passed away the last night. Oh, man. So, rest in peace. Rest in peace, brother. That's, uh, that's tough. Yeah, I saw that and I said, fuck. He was a good one, too. Yeah. yeah. Well, when you, lose your re- you know, when you lose your wrestling heroes and stuff, that's always tough. Yeah. You know? yeah. I remember when uh, Moondark Spot passed away a few years ago. Yeah, shit. In the ring, you know? Not long after your match. Was yeah, it was, was like it? the next match. Yeah. He had a heart attack in the ring and died. <laughs> he was wrestling Jerry Lawler, and that was it, you know? You have you have a thing for people dying and, and after <laughs> they wrestle you, though. I remember a guy named Miles Long. Miles Long, yeah. That passed away not shortly after. I wrestled him, and then wrestled. somebody else wrestled him, and then he died. Damn. So, so no wrestle Tony Diamond because he'll <laughs> kill your ass. <laughs> it's coincidence. It's, it's got to be. Coincidence, yeah. yeah. You haven't died yet. I've wrestled you five hundred yeah, times. Yeah, I haven't yet, but I've come close, man. A couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> they just brought me back. Shit. There's <laughs> a few times I remember coming back to the, the dressing room and not remember any, anything. So, you know, out on my feet. So, you know, that's just part of the show, I guess. <laughs> So, damn. But. My kid just come in and said, 
food. <laughs> as quiet as you could. He's like shaking his hands shaking and all his stuff. Hands like food, food. <laughs> what are you yeah. gonna do when we go when we go viral video? They're, they're gonna have to stay the hell out of our way. <laughs> they're gonna walk for the bit, camera. We're just gonna have to start bitch slapping some people. <laughs> We do the show during dinner time too. It's fu- it's that funny. Could a, that could be a problem. Yeah, we may have to change that. <laughs> <laughs> Being it's pre-recorded and then broadcasted. But the bad thing is, we aren't good with early mornings. No, because we're just like. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, it takes. I, I'm on my third or fourth pot of coffee today to <laughs> to get to this point. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Man, I but, hate to. Say it, but soon we got to go. I think it is time to go. Damn. So, how about playing the commercial? Okay. Time from GoneBroakRacing.com. Or maybe we'll play our music video little thing or jigger. Yeah, we'll play the little thing that you put together. Yes, I put a a slideshow together. Mr. Tierney Diamond put it together. It's like the history of the scene over five or ten years or however long it's been around. Yeah, shit. So on, uh, I guess we'll see everybody next week then. Yeah, next week right here on YouTube. YouTube. Right there. I, I, said, I yeah. almost <laughs> said it. You almost I said blog. almost said woo. I'm bull Dude, YouTube on <laughs> bullshit. We ain't gonna be on <laughs> <the> blog talk. <laughs> we apologize, blog talk, but you just don't got the, the format. Yeah, we need. It's thirty minutes ain't long enough, no, man. Just didn't do it for us. Should have made it longer. Should have made it an hour and a half, yeah, like we there. used to have it. So. We ain't been there in five years, but we were there yeah, five we, years we, ago. Yeah, we expect what we, our deal originally was back five years ago. Before grandfathered we, in, or yeah, something. yeah, yeah. Whatever he said. Yeah. Oh, yeah. speaking of grandfathered in. I just want to bring up before we before we end this show. Okay. MySpace. MySpace. The fuck is wrong with MySpace? Man, I tell you what, it's all about top forty, and it's pissing me God off. God damn, they change that bullshit. If you people haven't been on MySpace in a while, Need you to go better check get it out. on MySpace and get your pictures and shit off. Because yes. You can log in, but you ain't gonna get your damn pictures. Yeah. You do that. We got on yesterday and checked it out. Our pictures are gone. Our videos are gone. And we had to end up transferring everything over to the new MySpace to get it, but yeah. that's only going to be a matter of time that they'll let you do that. So yeah. get in there and get your shit off of there, get or get in there, there and, and do something or something. <laughs> you know, I mean, we have like a thousand photos on there. You know, yeah. we have to get that stuff off of there. And videos and songs, yeah, and all kind of stupid shit. Yeah, so. there's a lot of history there. We almost lost. Damn. So, so get on MySpace.com and redo the fucking shit if you had an account and get your pictures and shit off there. Yeah, or you're losing it. Because it's 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 turned out to be like Xbox Live, it's just a big cluster fuck of shit. <laughs> so, <laughs> of shit. Yeah, said. my Xbox membership expired yesterday or today, so I got to take care of that. And then MySpace, you know, <laughs> come on now, you know, it all seems like it's all this thing here. So why couldn't they just yeah. leave stuff alone? Yeah, shit, they could have left the old one. Up. Well, they're trying to be like Facebook, and yeah, you know, once once Facebook came up. Twitter and everybody left MySpace. Yep. Now it took them what five years. Yeah, five to years. Go. Huh, let's change shit and maybe people will come back. Yeah. Well, fuck, we have to. <laughs> you ain't gonna give us a shit. Yeah. So we got to come back to get it back. It took me 10 minutes yesterday to find the photos after I transferred them. Yeah, me too. I was like, what the hell are they? You know? And I'm clicking on the photo thing, and I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I'm like, there's a, you know, there's a thousand photos here. Where are they all at? And eventually I found them, but... Damn, was it a headache. <laughs> so, but. so enjoy our video and check out the GoneBrokeRacing.com website. Yes, we got to thank our brothers at, we gotta thank our brothers at GoneBrokeRacing.com for sponsoring us. So, And we'll see you guys all next week then. Next week, next week right here on YouTube.com. <laughs> see you all next week. See ya. I do.